Let's consider a 25 horsepower Johnson. It is a detuned 35 at full throttle. It is producing less than two thirds of the power at full throttle. So you can't run a 35 at more than half throttle, right? I have a 35 and I run it at th full throttle all the time. And it is, it is a 1976 and still running fine. There's like, there's a proven case right there of, running an engine white i mean 1976 that's 24 and and let's go ahead and call it 2024 today so you're talking about 48 years at wide open throttle like it's you don't blow power heads because you're running wide open throttle you blow power heads because they run lean meaning you're not getting your oil mixture right you're running out of oil uh, and that's causing two other issues. You're overheating the engine. So when you overheat it, it does all kinds of things. Like it warps the metal, it warps valves. It were like the valve covers, plastic parts, all that stuff. Like you've got big problems when you overheat an engine to, you know, a certain temperature or for an extended period of time. Those are the things that's going to blow a power head, not running at wide open throttle. If you've got a five horsepower engine and you run it wide open throttle all the time, they run forever. Again, the problem with the little engines is people don't service them. They've got this little engine, it sits on the tender, and then it lives in the water all the time. It doesn't get an impeller for 20 years. They running poor fuel in it, never checking the oil, and those kinds of things. That's what ends up killing them, especially like carburetors and stuff like that. That's what the problem with all the little engines is, is you get a little engine, most of the time, oh, it won't run. Well, that's because it hasn't run in six months. It's been living in the water and the carburetor is now trashed. And that's why it won't run because it's lack of use. So that's kind of my two cents or my little rant on the running wide open throttle. And it's kind of a horsepower thing where these little engines are, you don't have the ability to run in the lower engines. But then when we talk about higher horsepower, like, you know, 90s, 115s, 150s and up, 300s, 600s, like the the idea that these people can run wide open throttle all the time, like bass boats, those they're running as much wide open throttle as they can. But at the same time, if they've got trolling motors, they're running wide open throttle to the spot and then they're putting in the trolling motor and then they're they're doing their thing right there turning on the engine, pulling the, the trolling motor, and then wide open throttle to the next spot. They are the basically the ones that you will find that have the high RPM at wide open throttle, but by and large, the rest of the recreational world, they don't have the ability to run wide open throttle all the time. So I guess maybe there should be a horsepower disclaimer in there. Um, Sawyer's dad says carburetor. <laughs> what is this? 1975? Um, that's kind of what I was thinking. There's just tons of there's because we've got a lot of questions about older engines lately. There's been a lot of OX 66s, HPDI questions, the carbureted four stroke question, a lot of 20, 25 year old engines, but yeah, 1975, um, just kind of what it is. You know, there's a lot of older engines out there. So we're going to talk about whatever we can talk about. So if you like this clip, you can watch the full podcast over here, or you can watch another clip over here.